who are you? <laughs> oh, I don't really know. A uh, journeyman. A child. Brad Cole. That's it. Just me and a guitar. What do you want your music to do to people? No, I just want to wake them up. I have wandered from your shore from bus stop benches and rush hour messes. Well, you know, I, I grew up in Chicago and um, when I got out of school, I started playing in a band and I got a job at the Mercantile Exchange like everybody in Chicago does at some point. Oh, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Oh, Chicago, you'll always be my home. For years, I was grinding it out in the clubs here playing rock. I was doing a punk thing, doing a post-punk thing, doing a ska thing. This was a wonderful time because I was young, dumb, with no responsibilities, and just chasing my dreams. Had I known then that you only have like a few year period to make it or break it, maybe if I could, I would have done things differently. But then I had a kid and I needed to make a living. So blue were all the longest days and green became the bed on which we played. And sweet was all we tasted on those crack jack and watermelon days. It was just kind of a rough go as a musician. The hours were bullshit and I was running around a lot and I wanted to be home. So I just stuck with the day job primarily and put the music as secondary. And then summer leaves And the laughter ripples back to me What serious September brings And I pull along At a different speed Turn the page and it's all gone, 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 gone after the crash in 2007, I just had my sort of come to God thing and say, what do I need to be doing here? I looked at the epic loss that was not just at a corporate level, but at a personal level. And I just said, fuck this. And if I don't take myself seriously as a musician now, then fuck me. Well, I say Brad Cole's a singer-songwriter, and I'm proud of that. Strap on your wings when you see a good man down. You fly in and begin to lift him up off of the ground. Midlife blonde, the very best thing he's found. You alone heal his bones in the dark, he don't know. You've been stealing stones from the crown. Hey, Suzanne, better wash that blood from your hands. Hey, Suzanne, building castles on the sand. Well, you kiss just like an angel while the devil makes your plans. Nowhere to hide in the turning tide. Hey, Suzanne. So here's what we'll do. We're gonna, we're gonna play all the way through it. I love getting together with the guys and playing. That's a great thing. I mean, there's a lofty issue to it all. But at the end of the day, you know, it's also about having some fun with what I want to be able to do. Writing and editing and, and working that piece of music into where it's just fitting together you know, that's, that's a beautiful thing. 
devil makes your plans. Something like that. You know, the marketers of the world would have me say it's Americana, folk, which means it's roots-based, with just a feel of jazz, a feel of soul, an R&B. I'm not so steeped in the record industry that this record is going to be this for these people. People should listen because it, it feels cool. And that's kind of it. Where you kiss just like an angel By the devil makes your plans Nowhere to hide in the turning tide This is And the songs, you know, I'm digging up hope. Man, that's, that's what motivates me. You know this, man. I mean, people get stuck in their bullshit, right? We all got to deal with sadness and I just try to turn it around. And sometimes it's just the right story that does that. Because the soul is typically something that you shouldn't let people push around too much. But if you let a little bit of light in, sometimes your soul will grow. Between you and me, there's something I gotta say. It's not a secret, but sometimes I'm just misunderstood that way. I wrote off love as a fool's game. Lost some fingers to the flame. But something changed when you came my way. Now my fool heart pulled me back in again. And I may be crazy, may be dreaming. If I listen to my heart, I hear it singing. No more waiting for our moment. We run this road together to a higher ground where we are free. We find a union of soul. We have a union of soul. Rational people won't make that leap to do what I did. To turn over a comfortable lifestyle, to be an artist, to follow what you do, you've got to be a little fucked up. I have lied where the truth should reign. From my home, my family, I have turned away in shame to be the man. I have sold my soul. For the carnival ride of women in one, what have I become? To make a leap, you've got to have some faith. you got to have some faith in God or some sort of higher power that if you're following the truth, that something good might happen. I've never been much on praying, just wish somebody would bring the rain. Burning up like a wildfire Lord help me bring the rain Bring the rain Might be my favorite song I don't know, I guess it's really about Coming out of being bad Coming out of a bad part of my life and looking up to heaven and just saying, bring the rain, let's wash all the bad stuff away. I've never been much on praying, just wish somebody would bring the rain.
You know, I, I had a brother that died. You know, he was shot. It was a, a disaster for our family and for his kids. Wonderful guy. And the thing about my brother is, is he was cool. Remember when cool meant something before money meant everything? He was cool. He wouldn't say, Brad, don't do this. You're, it's too risky. He'd say, go for it. And that helps, right? And, you know, you never get over that stuff. When something like that happens, it becomes part of you. And I didn't really know what to do with it for a long time. And finally that phrase, killing your brother, just got, got to me. You got your finger on the trigger. And if you stop to think about who you're killing, think that you'll be better in the end. You're sweating and you're scared and think that taking someone's life would somehow justify the mean to someone's end. But no... Did you think this might be someone's brother? Maybe someone's kid or someone's mother. Hey, you're killing your brother. Hey, you're killing your brother. The politicians shake their head while your history's been painted red. They'll nod and they'll agree. It's just a shame. Yeah, your gangland boss is getting rich. Cause man, you're just his little bitch. Believing that revenge is all it takes. But no, don't tell me that this has to be. Mm, don't let them lock away your destiny and pay. You're killing your brother. You know, in Chicago, sometimes in the summers, you get up to 75, 80 shootings a month. There's a lot, maybe even more. And I'm just trying to get people to stop shooting each other because we're all the same and you're probably somewhat related to who you might be shooting. Hey, hey, you're killing your brother. You know, art is just taking whatever you do technically and trying to make it beautiful and finding inspiration and coupling it all together. And I don't, you know, give a shit whether it's music or if it's photography or whatever it is. It's paying attention to the thing that calls you. And what is the thing that calls you? There's going to be some kind of fucking inspiration that grabs you and doesn't leave you be. And then you got to pick up your tools. No, you can't answer me I'm somewhere over the sea I'm feeling weary and alone You know, it's a, it's a surprise who will come up out of the audience after a show. For example, I have a song called Come Home. It's written about a friend of mine who did a couple of tours in Iraq. Had a soldier come up to me and he used to look me in the eye, kind of glassy-eyed, and say, that song really touched me. That's huge. I want to come home to you tonight, lay my body down. As a writer, you don't know where the songs are going to go. You give them away. I mean, that's part of what it is. Somebody's going to hear it. It's going to mean something to them. Somebody's going to come up to me after a show crying and saying, you know, you wrote this song, this was my life or somebody's gonna find happiness in something that wasn't happy for me. But I don't know where these songs are really gonna go, and that's part of the job of being a songwriter, and that's part of the mystery, too. You put it out there, and what comes back? Somebody will record your song. Somebody may put their gun down because they heard that song, Killing Your Brother. But I don't know that, I just, you, that's part of the deal, that's part of the mystery. Give it away. Peace, let it fall apart. And never let this river carry me 
chased you and you played if i touched you and you stayed would you carry me away but i reach for you and you know that i want to keep you but for me i know you'll never stay fly to me oh fly to me 